Hey YouTube, we're back at it as promised before in uh, some of the other pepper videos you've seen. We discussed how we were going to be building a greenhouse and we're going to be doing some experiments in the greenhouse with the peppers. Well, today is the first video of that. What we have in front of us, uh, I can't quite see all of them, but we have n nine cuttings that I took from a Carolina Reaper plant that I grew in a deep water culture system in my basement. And I originally started out with a nutrient test under two different lights, and we quickly found that the LED light blew away the fluorescent light. We also found that the Urban Hydroponic Pepper and Herb Food, which is a 271140, blew the Aurora Innovation Soul Brand nutrients out of the water. We attempted a second run at the Soul Brand nutrients, and it still uh, burnt the plants, and they just died. Uh, the negative thing that we found in the long run about Urban Hydroponics Pepper and Herb Brood was the amount of nitrogen we were putting in. It seemed like it had a hard time producing fruit. So at the very end, we actually ended up going to the General Hydroponics Flora Bloom, Flora Grow, and Flora Micro. And we had pepper two peppers within a week of doing that, and the growth is slowed down. For out here, seeing we're in the greenhouse and we're outdoors, we're going to stick with each the whole way through. Uh, kind of sitting here realizing that this is probably going to end up being a pretty expensive experiment, but it should be pretty fun. So let's take a closer look at what we have. In this bucket, we have one of the clones with the general hydroponic stack like we talked about. Uh, it's in a five gallon bucket. This greenhouse will get up to 130 degrees without the fans on and doors open. Uh, with the fans that we have in place, uh, you know, this is we're kind of experimenting. We can get it down to about 85, and it's very humid. Uh, the pepper should love that. Right now, it is 50 degrees outside. It's about 65 in here and super humid. Uh, but we put it in the ground so in hopes that in the summer that the cool ground will keep the water. Um, you know, not so warm and not cook the roots. Uh, we're going to be doing the crack key method and all six of these. And just as a control, we also have three of the cuttings. I apologize, two of the cuttings in soil. Um, one of these I have it marked as an apocalyptic scorpion that I started from seed. The other two are clones. So back at it in the second bucket, we have. It's a five gallon bucket and we have the Aurora Innovation Soul Brain Nutrients again. Uh, we'll see how that goes this time. We're using half the strength, half the recommended strength on the Urban Hydroponics, Aurora Innovations, and the General Hydroponics until the plants are a little more established. In the third bucket, which is still a five gallon bucket, we have our Urban Hydroponics Pepper and Herb Food uh, Kick Butt in our LED that plan is still going check up uh, that update should be up soon but we'll see how this goes we never really had a problem with the pH uh, kind of set and forget it same deal with the general hydroponics pH is pretty much set and forget it the Aurora innovations I found that I had to tweak that almost every day so we'll see how it goes out here now down here we have the same deal but in our whey protein jugs that we've used successfully for a ton of grows, we thought we'd see what would happen to the size of the plant if the root system couldn't get as big. Obviously, you would expect the plant to be smaller, but just for another little fun part of the experiment, we decided to do that. So same deal. The first one, we had the General Hydroponics. And the second one, we have the Aurora Innovations Soul brand nutrients. And then the third one, we have the Urban Hydroponics. Overall, we're pretty excited about this. Uh, just in the side note, full disclosure, um, in the other video, you'll see that the peppers quite haven't matured enough. To me, they look like a Carolina Reaper. I've read some horror stories online about how if the seeds that you bought weren't quite uh, stabilized, it could end up being something else. And I feel like I got it from a pretty reliable source. Um, they have really good reviews. But quite looking at looking at it, it doesn't quite have the tail, but it does have the shape, and it's still green. Uh, if to come to find out, it is not a Carolina Reaper plant, I will update all the titles of the video to reflect what kind of pepper it is, so I'm not misleading anybody. But my true intention, or I truly believe, I was growing a Carolina Reaper. Um, 
But yeah, it should be pretty fun growing hydroponics outdoors. The crack key method seems to be available to everybody because you don't have to buy the pumps. And if you do it outside, uh, you don't have to buy the light. Uh, the greenhouse, the only reason I'm doing it in here is because it's still, it's May 1st and it is 50 degrees out. And I built it for another project that I have going and I had 20 feet of length left to add stuff. Um, like I said, hopefully burying it in the ground will take care of keeping the water cool. And I will do an update every week. Uh, if I'm out of town, it'll be two weeks, but you can look forward to an update every week. As always, like us, subscribe, check out our other videos. Until next time, talk to you later.